And <clears throat> welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition or ins Insanity 100% playthrough. Last we left off, we were about to talk to this Elcor, Zaltan. And yeah, we'll just break, begin right now. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. What's wrong, buddy? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Consort? Who's this Asari Consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the Consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where is she? Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Good day, buddy. Okay, well, let's look at our journal. Got our unusual readings. And then we gotta expose Saren. Anything back here? Nope. Citadel's a huge maze, but once you explore it a couple times, you start realizing where everything is, and it really isn't that bad. Hello. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Have we met? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Ooh, we are notable. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. Savina? What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Okay. Personal question. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. Are you pretty busy? You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Okay. I should be going now. Let's have go. a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Oh, Avina. I probably won't talk to you, like, at all during this playthrough. Okay, I think back here there's another couple more people to talk to. Human, delighted. Welcome. It is good to meet you. Good to meet you too, buddy. I don't want to keep track of where these guys are. Looking for these guys is always a pain. Updated the codex. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Is it though? Working with shared people in a shared office like this? I don't know. Not my type of job. My type of job is running around destroying aliens. Like that. I guess humans do. Pallion! Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Pallion, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Um, uh, actually, actually, I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. We're not favorites. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? No, I want to know more about Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. 
More like the underhanded side of the council. Oh. You don't like them? What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. I get it, but don't you think that's a bit naive? Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. Oh, I'll make Saren pay, don't you forget. But Spectres are important for keeping the peace. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? No. It's not. But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. Hey, it seems like uh, Palian's on our side. He knows that Saren is corrupt and needs to be held accountable. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Okay. And how's the investigation Tell going? me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Dang it. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh! Doubled up. Power talking, guys. Never underestimate it. Oh, wow. I have lots of points. Um, I should probably, what's the shield boost? Ooh, that's actually pretty good. But I do want lift. Yeah, lift is pretty, lift is pretty good. Um, let's get shield boost. Caden, auto level up. Ashley, auto level up. Yeah, you're leveling up just fine. Okay, and then... Let me make sure I update this. Shield boost. Put that on eight. Lift. Put that on five. There we go. Any secrets? Ooh, we do got a secret. My message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the internet. Furthermore, monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Do you understand us? Do you tolerate us? We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Ada Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Okay, sounds like a mission. Krogan! See what's going on in this bar here. Hello. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Okay, guys. Why is everyone a racist? Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. Shut up, Fredericks. Hello? What do you want? 
Oh, Commander. At is ease. there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? Tell me a little bit more about this consort. What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Whoa. Where is she? Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. You tell him, Ash. Have fun, that is. Find the sun. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay, then. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Why not? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? Yeah, tell me. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. Okay, tell me more about Shaira's. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Dude, the game really wants you to go talk with the consort. Tell me about I Flux in Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier, all at the same time. Okay. Let's go. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. I think there's just a keeper back here. Yep. Okay. Let's head back out to the main area of the uh, Citadel. Man, the Citadel's Welcome so cool. To Allow me to be your guide. I'm good. We'll walk down this way first. We're going to explore every bit of the Citadel, folks. It's just so dang cool. I mean, just look at this. Look how cool this place is. Who wouldn't want to be here? Man, that's cool. Hold on, part of this again? Kinda. Nothing down here. Let's keep moving. We'll head up to the um, council. Um, yeah. We don't need to go to the wards just yet. We'll all do that here in a second. A Mass Effect statue. Let's go take a look at that. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Well, let's examine it. Please do not disturb the keepers. Oh, there's the... Welcome Council. to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Hmm. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Where'd Caden go? Is Caden... Caden get lost? You know, art doesn't normally do much for me, but that relay statue... I like. I like that statue too. Pretty cool. 
Oh, there's Caden. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow Bye, me to Bye, Caden. Sure is peaceful here. It is. Let's get up there. Let's talk to the council. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. No, we don't. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Garrus! Best bro ever. Ah, oh, I love Garrus. What'd you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Huh, tough luck with that. That Council can't listen to anything. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. Oh, Garrus. <sighs> there goes my dog again. Just can't calm Don't down. Ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Volus? No. The Hanna are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right, though the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first. You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. The Hanar, huh? Now that would be be interesting. Rear Admiral Kohaku. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Councilor's assistants. Commander? Guess we're not talking just yet. Anderson. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. How did you get involved? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect? from a human. Typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. I'll find proof. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? 
How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You won't see the truth. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. The Council's blind. Council won't help us. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that, loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Hey. No one talks down to Captain Anderson. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. What's your history with Saren? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes sacrifices need to be made, Anderson. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Why do we bother? Nah, that's a stupid question. No one knows why you would try to get on the council. We're too independent. Maybe they'd let us join the council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests too. Not wrong. Tell me about the Spectres. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. 
They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation, but sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How are they chosen? How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. So is this all legal? They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. That's for sure. If one goes too far. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Okay. Tell me about Harkin. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Why protect him? The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Tell me about the Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Okay. bar -Lavon. Tell me about bar -Lavon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Okay. Thanks I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. I'll go expose Saren. Make him pay. So, this is where the Council passes judgment on all us little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling we're in over our heads, Commander? Mm, not really. This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. Kind of makes your head spin if you think about it too much. Yeah. I guess so. It's nice and... I, I love the Citadel Tower. love how it looks. The trees, the fauna, and everything. I don't really get what the... I guess like the spectator rows are up here. It just seems really weird. I don't know. And there's not really... Um, a door? Do people just, like, teleport up there? <laughs> now that I'm actually, like, looking at it. That guy's up to something. What guy? The one over by the keeper. Nah, he's fine. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. What? Um, yes, is there something you want? Are you following the Keepers around? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Relax. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. 
All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why the lies? Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Let me help. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm with the Alliance. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. That's pretty cool. So why are what you are doing What are you doing this, with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Got it. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Thank you. Time to scan, boys. It's a little bit of a scavenger hunt that we're on now to find all these keepers. But as we explore the whole citadel, shouldn't be too bad to find them all. Scan. Look at that, just got 30 credits. Completely worth it. Anything else up here? No. Oh, is that a keeper? Nope, that's just a plant. Gotta make sure that we explore the air areas thoroughly, though, because I don't want to come back. I don't have to. No. I Haku. just want to have Commander. Ah, still nothing. Scan. I think there's four keepers up here, if I remember correctly. I think there's another one like over here somewhere. Yeah. Maybe. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. Of course the keepers would hang out by the council. It just makes sense. Turian. That's a nice uh little pond decoration thing. Fountain. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Let's go. Up in the music. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operators. It's only natural they take his work over ours. Oh, so now we just take leave while this mud Turian runs around with his guest troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. <laughs> Even in nursing leadership, I had to deal with politics, and it's awful. Welcome to the Presidium. Um. Yeah, let's go around. Please do not disturb the keepers. This way. What do you have to say about this, Caden? Huh? Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. Makes my teeth tingle. Hmm. Hold on. Okay. Let's take a look. Wait, there are birds in here? What? It's even more crazier than I thought. Forget, is there a keeper back there? I think there might be. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. This is a Hanar. For those Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. 
Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Good. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Okay. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. Though many in this... Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great worth. Okay, let's see what you got. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Uh, use standard items. Any... Ooh, Serta Foundation License. Nice. Wouldn't want that. Let's sell some of this, uh... Stuff I got. Oh. Honestly, like, all this is probably like garbage. Die. Think I wanted to keep some of this armor, so let me get that back. Um, don't need that. I think I saw Corian armor. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Okay. Perfect. Okay, is there a keeper back here? Aha. Uh -huh. this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. Have we met? You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I need your help. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Can I make a deal? I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. Oh. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Hmm. He's not the only one. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Anything else? 
That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with c -Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Personal questions. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. And this is legal? Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the Council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Mm. Maybe. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Shadow Tell broker. me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Do you know who he is? Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. It's kind of it's kind of brilliant when you think about the Shadow Broker, because if you don't play this game, then you're going to fall way behind in the information. That's crazy. The Shadow Broker is smart. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> What's it like okay, living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single, strong community. Tell me about the wards. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Okay. What well, makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard, people like us. 
Goodbye. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, so now we just learned more about the Shadow Broker and his empire, and how deadly he can be, and how powerful he really is. And now we also learned about a Krogan. Oops, Keeper. And, oop. Krogan, who's like this one, are freaking amazing. Hard to believe the Krogan were once seen as the saviors of the galaxy. If you're gonna make a Krogan statue, you might as well make it big, right? I'll talk to the Sabine and learn Greetings, more about and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel space station. Virtual guide? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Sounds Give me the tour. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellions. Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellions. <laughs> In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan Rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. Sounds like a pretty vicious cycle. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni. Then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. We were just putting some watch to this. Good job, Commander Shepard. <laughs> Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. No. Rachni what were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, Explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. A little extreme. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Okay, I'll go. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Krogans are such badasses. Man, they're so cool. Well, I guess this video isn't going to get any views now. Thank you, YouTube. I've had my okay. I think this is where the consort is. Hey, Welcome. I am Nalina. 
I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Yes, I do need a point. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. All right. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Are you serious? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Oh, how? What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Huh. Sounds interesting. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, three or four months. <laughs> Just What the heck? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Is she kind of some type of mystical magic person? You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Okay. Goodbye. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Why? What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. <laughs> this is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Oh. You're a human. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Okay. Cool. This place is a little too perfect. They're hiding something. Well, of course they are. Sure is peaceful here. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Who are you? What exactly do you do? That depends on your need. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Oh? Tell me more. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but... He wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What went wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay. I'll look what exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Very boring. Now I must own. ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Give me hugs and stuff like that. 
for Zoom a lot. Now let's go. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure what to expect their first time. Don't get me wrong. I've only heard good things about the console. It's just... The unknown forces us out of our comfort zone. It forces us to be vulnerable. Exactly. That's just what I was thinking. Good. Then we are ready to begin. <laughs> okay, let's go, guys. Let's get back on the mission. Let's go see if we can find Garrus and this Krogan. Whose name has not yet been said. But first, let me scan all these keepers. Otherwise, it's going to be harder to keep track of all of them. Okay. There's not a keeper down there. They're only up here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, there's one in here, pretty sure. Yep. Boop. I think if you get closer to the end of the keepers, you can start getting way more money in the e EXP. So now I'm going to be inside the Palin's office. There's one back here. Here we go. This is the sixth keeper. I think there's 13. Scan the keepers. 20. I'm actually on 10 of them. Oh, I've got those ones over there. Yes. Guys, don't don't quote me on my math. Please. Don't. Okay. Nope. Why are you running? Okay, no one here. Any in here? I don't think so. Just Commander An or Captain Anderson, the coolest character. Aha, here's another one. Oop. Eleven. Now let's go down to the wards. The only problem with the Citadel being so big is that it takes forever to move around. And you only can sprint for such short time periods. Like look at this sprint. It's all I can do. Can you move faster with your weapon out? I actually haven't compared that, but it doesn't feel like you do. I told you before, oh. you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right. Hey, what's going on? That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. What are the rules of the permit? So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Arrested? Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become... vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. Okay, what's the reason? What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. 
Makes sense. Let me talk. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Hello there. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? This isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Ah, uh, I need higher, um, more Paragon stats or Renegade. So, I'll just say goodbye for I'll now. be back. I'll come back. This one will continue to spread its message. I'll be back, CSEC. Now let's go get some people on the team. So, you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. This is not wrong, Kaden. Okay, so we're at the bottom of CSEC. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Okay. Got some CSEC officers on the case here. Aha! Boop. Another elevator. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Okay. What was that? Oh, there's a keeper. Oh. I actually do not want to go this way, I don't think, right now. This will lead me down to the lower wards, the markets. Yeah, I want to head over here to the med clinic. Restock up my uh, Metagel. Scenic view. opinion sir that's right chief this isn't a station it's a city there must be millions here it can't be possible to track everyone coming and going this makes jump zero look like a portage on and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has jump zero is big but this is a whole nother scale look at the ward arms how do they keep all that mass from flying apart Melting pot is inadequate. inadequate. The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. What's not to like? Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. 
When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans. Them. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? <laughs> it's all right. All right, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenko, but we're on duty here. Uh, I am. I'll walk drag, ma'am. Thanks, Ash. Emily Wong! Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Of course. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Oh? How do you know that my investigation is gonna uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Okay. Why me? You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. Got that right. What's your source of information? How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Well, because we're doing a 100% complete uh, playthrough, consider it done. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. There we go. Um, let's go this way. This will lead down to CSAC. Man, this is so cool. Okay, is there anything over here? Aha! Uh -huh. Keeper! Let's replenish our Meta Gel. Hello, Chloe. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Chloe Michel. Is there something I can do for you? Personal question. You're a doctor? How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let supplies. me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Whoa! That's super expensive. 420,000. Blaze it. Okay, this has those meta medical in interfaces. Oh my gosh, words. Okay. You at the nebula. One heck of a view, dude. Look at that. This place is amazing. So massive in scope. You only explore so little at the Citadel on all three games. It's crazy. We'll head down to C-Sec. Or should I check out the markets? Um... Uh... Uh, I'll go down here. Public extranet terminal. Keeper. Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Tell me about CSEC. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. 
I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, Seasick gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Citadel? How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. Spectres? What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Mmm... little naive... perspective on things, but okay. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the Force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Mm -hmm. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Bye, Officer Lane. C-Sec Academy. Another elevator. Oh. Those Asari commandos are impressive. Lightly armored, but their speed more than makes up for it. Unless that speed lets them outrun bullets, I'm more inclined to stick with nice, solid armor. And a big gun. Point taken. It's a good point, but those are sorry commandos. Not anything to joke about. Hello? My boy. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. You can help me, Rex? Yeah, let's say Rex. Such a good name. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. How so? Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. Tell me. What'd he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Why? What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Quarian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Have to find her. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. What about the Shadow Broker? I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. We could use him. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Oh, we're so taking Rex. Oh, I guess I'll take Caden. And let's go. My boy. Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. Let's go talk with the doctor. Let's go get Garrus. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. 
Panar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. You good, Kaden? Got one of your migrants? Ascension right there. It took almost six hours and we only saw one guy the ship. I even got to beat the commander. You met her? Well, she addressed everyone on the tour, but I got pretty close to her. Huh, just look at that ship. You'd have to be stupid to mess with that. Wow. Very true. She's got almost as much firepower as the rest of the Asari fleet combined. She'll never need to use it. That's crazy. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Good shot. Timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Who were those men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. We need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Why do you hate Saren? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Okay. Okay, you made your case. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Oh, we're going to hit him hard, buddy. The boy's back at it again. I'll level up you two. Um. Um, let's see, I want decryption. Oh, you don't have... Oh, you do have electronics. Let's do... Overkill. Rex. Do wherever the heck you want, buddy. Anything for me? Nope. Paragon the Renegade. By the way, I don't think I ever told you guys. I am going to be doing a mostly Paragon playthrough, but not 100% Paragon. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Happy to help. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. 
Me too. Now, is there anything you needed? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Anything back here still? No. Okay, now let's go explore these markets. Journal. Hold on. At what's going on in my Discord? Like, what? What the heck? Okay, I need to mute this. This is getting insane. There. Sorry about that, guys. Usually that's all muted. Okay, guys. Let's get going. Take a look around the markets, see if we can find anything cool. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? That's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place! Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry. I can't help you. But, what would you... Can't help you. Always save your receipt. Save that receipt, boys. Fullis? Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Oh. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Colonies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. Okay. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. Tell me about Pharos. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he is. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. Okay. Let me see your goods. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Omni tool, salt rifle. Oh, license. I do want that. Okay. Thank you. Is that really? Wow! It's you. How can I help you? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I just tried to help. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Um, I guess. Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Okay, bye. That was weird. Went into the lower markets. More land, huh? 
Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? I do need supplies. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Uh, a few standard items. Metagel upgrade. Yes. I want that. Ooh. Next one's going to be expensive. Elmer's Risk Control License. I'll buy that. Nothing I really want to sell. Okay. Anything up here? This is just the hallway, right? Yep, just the hallway with the keeper. Stand up right next to that door, Shepard. It's almost like it. Yeah, we're good. Looks like it's shut down. Fist knows we're coming. Look oh. out! Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot! Save yourselves. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. <laughs> that was funny. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting yeah. people isn't always the answer. And that's that answer. I surrender. Smart move. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. 
But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. He surrendered. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Okay, let's go. On. But first, let's steal all this stuff. Let's go. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Okay. I knew I couldn't trust him. You okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? I'm with the Alliance. Or... I'm a friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Ugh. Dina. She can help us. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Best girl. Right there. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. 
When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Something of value, huh? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Please continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Sorry guys, I'm just... My dad's in the hospital, I'm just getting some updates. He had a surgery. Sounds like the surgery went well though, so that's good. Back into the game. Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. The Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers. Sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. It's not far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They need to know. Will they believe it? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor! The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. What about your pilgrimage? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Join us. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. You got it, bestie. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay. Bring back the squad. My boys. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Mostly for show, not much crime up here. Huh. I get the feeling they're not used to seeing Krogan walking around up here. Probably not. I think we doubled up, though. So that's always good. 
stasis. Um, the Bantro. The Bantro is pretty good. I will want pistols, but I also want to work on trying to get and increase my charm. I'm going to save these points. Garrus, get electronics. Turian agent. Yeah, we're gonna need to level you up. Let's get this guy too. For not Rex, you can auto. -level. Looks so weird with the helmet, Rex. Garrus never wore a helmet. My helmet's okay. I'll take it all. Got any new real good equipment? Let me try this um, Avenger. I can't wear that. See how this goes. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Okay. We'll try this out for a little bit. Excuse Please. me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Yes, I can. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Wait, what? Why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll put this right. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay, yeah. Let me go talk with him. Not you, not the son, you. What the My heck, My goodness, man? you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here for Samish. Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. She's toxic? You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she Just did in life. Right. How long would this research be? How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. How many bodies? You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, 
We need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. More of the results when of this will research? this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. This is bullshit. This isn't right. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. At what cost? Is this what I'm out here fighting for? A government that steals the bodies of its honored dead? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Good. Jesus. Some people just don't get it. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Dude, that guy had no freaking idea. How long have we been going? Almost two hours, wow. Yeah, the Citadel can be a huge chunk of time, guys. I'll try to make this all in one episode if I can. So if you guys want, you can skip the Citadel episode and get back into the other episodes. But no promises. Samesh. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? She's coming home, boy. I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness. But it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Samash. Okay, to the towers. I guess I could take the rapid transit. Sidium. Citadel Tower. Anderson. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Benezia? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Saren's bringing them back. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Not yet. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You doubted me before. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. You guys are blind. The Reapers are there. And they're coming. You're wrong. 
50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I am ready. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Spectre at long last, boys. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. <sighs> Figures. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Specter bonus! Let's go! Sorry, that might have been a little loud. Just super excited. Effective training. There we go. We want to get Unity as soon as possible. Oh, I can upgrade my charm now. Um, let's do charm then. Next levels will go into Spectre training. You guys are good. Let's go team. Kohaku, do you have anything to say now? No, I'm waiting to sp Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Thank you. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kohaku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. What problems do you have? Something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. 
Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly, it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. Okay. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I got your back, Omako. I'll where my team was last seen. Your <laughs> ship. Maybe you can get some answers. Don't have a ship yet, but I will here soon. Garoff. I hope he's okay. What's wrong? I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. What's wrong? Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Yes. Sometimes. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Both of those are bad. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Tell me about your brother's ship. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Okay. Rewards? What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. 40? Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. I'll do it. If your brother is still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. You got it. Also, back in the... When the council appointed me a specter, you think they'd want to keep that on the down low? Maybe not tell everyone who their secret agents are, but... Hey, that's just me. That's just me, boys. Let's go see if we can talk to this Hanner now. Get him to see some reasoning. Come, guys. Ah. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. How are we doing on the keepers? Oh man, we got a ton of things to do. Scan the keepers, 17 out of 20. We're almost there. Okay, let's talk to the Hanner. See if I can convince them. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? This isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. This is unworthy of you. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. Not this way. If the Protheans had wanted you to force your message on the unwilling, they'd have said so. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Go, I see the Hanar has left. 
Thank you. My pleasure. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Oh, we doubled up again. Nice. Level five, boys. Um, do I want? Uh, let's just do Spectre train to get Unity. There we go. We'll want to increase this stuff here soon. Did scan you to the wards. We go. Got a lot of quests to complete. A lot of Citadel quests to start off with. Might as well just get them done in one big jump. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Very interesting. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess not, but you could still use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Sure, but there's still way more complaints than the officers can handle. That's just life near the wards, kid. You'll get used to it. I love, love these interactions between just these, like, random people. It really makes the whole world alive, and I just absolutely love it. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Um, yeah, let's go to the bar. Now that's not completely filled up with, uh, bugs. You know, I usually always go to the bar, then find Garrus and Rex, and then come back and fight the bugs. So, never gone here afterwards. Kind of interesting. Does Harkin have anything to say now? I got business here, but not with you. Okay. Hey, sorry. I'll get to you when I can. Not now. I'm watching the show. Journal Septimus. Commander. What do you want? Got some problems? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Oraka, General of the Turian Fleet. I understand. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Straighten up. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and... Act like a general. It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. I'll have to hear it. Strain yourself up. Stop moping around the bar. Get back to 
business, General Septimus. You're better than this. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Sure. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Ow. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. All right. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. General Command, General Shepard. I was going to say General Commander Shepard there for a second. Just had a good thing over here. So bad he got me. Yep. CSEC always turned a blind eye to what went on in here. I think Fist was paying someone off. Well, I was. Go away. Let me let me drink it, please. Okay. Oh, I can't go back here. Anything else that I missed? No rush. Think so. I think I got everything. The music's kind of bopping. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, let's go to the upper wards. Or actually, I think if I go to the market, there might be some new dialogue. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Goodbye. Oh, I'm okay. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Let's go up to Flux and investigate that out. Flux is going to be around here, if I remember correctly. I think it's like, it's up here. Yeah. I know my way around the Citadel Mass Effect 1. I've been around here far too many times. I've walked these halls to not know my place. To, to not know the area. I guess. Way better music. You should be careful who you say that around. What? Everyone knows Fist isn't with the local criminals. Maybe, but I wouldn't go shouting it from the mountaintops. Yeah, unless you want to end up on his hit list. Yes, I heard he actually buried some corpses under the stage at Cora's den. I uh, wouldn't put it past him. Yes, and I might explain the stench in that place. You almost never see any keepers in this club. I guess they don't care what happens here. That or the music keeps them away. That's a good point. <laughs> Places like this always want to hire Krogan bouncers. It's like we're a status symbol for them. Yeah, it really hey, is. Good to see another human in here. Can I dance? Boom, boom, boom. It's out of my hand. I bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. I know, I know. 
I'll life. see if I can talk some sense into her next time I see her. Be careful. You know how stubborn your sister can be. What's going on? Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What's going on? What were you discussing with the you. Volas? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. No, it's okay. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. That's not good. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Have you talked with CSEC? Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. I'll go speak with her. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, who would she think sent her? Sent, sent me. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Tell me about Flux. Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Okay. What can you tell me about the sisters working for you? Well, Jenna left to work at Cora's Den. Now her sister Rita is all worried she might be in some kind of trouble. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. She's a stubborn one. If she wanted to come back, I'd take her in a second. The customers loved her. Okay. You own this place? Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. Oh, wow. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. I actually am interested in old quasar. Goodbye. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Machine. Oh, a keeper. Garish, you lied. There are keepers here. Someone rigged this machine to funnel credits their way. I'll run a trace. Sounds good. We'll start with, uh... Let's do high stakes. What are we talking about? 200 credits? Let's go. One day. One day. Um, if I do a four, I'm going to go out. So yeah, it's not worth doing that. So pay out. Play again. One day eight. One day eight. Keep going. If I do a four to seven, that's honestly pretty good. I can't bust. So four to seven is the way to go. Eighteen! Let's go. One to eight. Sorry guys, we're going to be doing some gambling here really quick. This reminds me of playing uh, Blackjack. Blackjack's really fun. Oh man. So more likely than not, one to eight is probably the best option. Woo! Let's go, boys. One to eight. Can you the one to eight? Oh my gosh. Yeah, still one to eight. Ugh. 
Yeah, when they wreck bus here. Oh, we didn't. Woohoo! Dude, we're making tons of money. Zero credits one? What? Keep going. Uh, yeah, four to seven. Ah, oh, of course I get the 21. Okay. Yeah, pay out. Four to seven. So if you have a thirteen, you always want to do four to seven. It's the safest bet. Nineteen. Let's go, boys. We just won another hundred credits. Keep going. Woo! Guys, yeah, sorry. I'm, I, I, I I love games like this. I'm really sorry. This is so much fun. Uh, four to seven is a little risky. One to eight is a little risky, but more likely one to eight is safer. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, just pay out. There we go, plus 200 credits, boys. Man, I might just have to come back here on my own time to start playing some Quasar. I love games like that. The Jedi Knights of the Old Puck, they had like a card game, which was a lot of fun, which was also kind of like 21. That was also fun. Okay. So, signal tracking. Track the signal coming from the ward's access corridor. Oh, I know where that is. But first I need to talk with Jenna and Emily Wong. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? But these these OSDs help? might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. I can offer more. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Thanks, Emily. Woo, 720. Okay. Back to the talk with Jenna. And for, we also need to find two more keepers. So we'll go down. Okay, we've got all the um or the gel. Let's see if we need to talk with the doctor. Both clubs are actually pretty bright, pretty close to each other. It's kind of handy. Jenna. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. 
Okay. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? This will be quick. I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. Don't be stupid. Uh, I'm trying to this isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. Okay. What's going on with her hair, though? Do you see that? Looks like she has two hairstyles. Is that like a wig? If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Jenna, what did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell was that about? I guess we better go find out. Ominous music. Okay, the C sec we go. Might be faster to go this way. Do you sprint faster going like this? I think you do. So it's always better than just to have your gun out, I guess. Does kind of ruin the vibe, though. Two C sack. Oh. Conrad. Or Lang! Why, why'd you toss a grenade there, man? <laughs> Lang! I'll let this off for the first time, but... I don't want to see you again, buddy. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. around here. Let's just go straight up to the... Where does this go? To the docking bay. That's right. And then this one will go to the Presidium. I forgot there was an elevator that went straight up to the Presidium and then down the C-Sec. But yeah, there is, isn't there? Um... Let's go this way, because this is such a cool scene. Okay, oh. Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details, but Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But I... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me details. Hi, Jolie. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I overheard you. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me. And I thought we were friends. 
That's a serious claim. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. <gasps> Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Okay, Is there you. something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? I'll talk with him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorbin. That's the guy who wanted us to scam the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Sorry about this seems fishy. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Nice. Hello there. Hello, Commander. Officer. Decryption skill too low. Garrus. Where's your decryption skill? Master of Sabotage. And then we'll do electronics. We need to get advanced electronics. We need to be able to bust into anything at any time. Auto level of fitness is so good. Just first level, 10% more health. Boom. So good. Now, you were saying that this is too hard to decrypt. I think not. Eh. <sighs> we'll try again. Ah, shoot. We can do it. Uh. Okay, now I'm just up for the challenge. Person of interest. CSEC is investigating a woman named Helena Blake. There's no hard evidence against her, but if these reports are correct, she has a powerful criminal ailment in the Citadel. She was last seen near the Emporium on the Presidium. Helena Blake, boys. Detective Chalik. Come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Sorry? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Is it worth it? Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you are so concerned with her safety, Maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Jellic. It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? You don't need her. You're a smart guy, Jellic. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But 
That still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. Sure. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. What makes them illegal? Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. Okay. I can talk to this Jax. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Okay. Got it. Where can I find this Jax? Just buy the mods and come Jax back. Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Thank you, Chalk. You always see a few civilians hanging around the academy waiting to speak to an officer about some problem or other. If CSEC were better at its job, there'd be no need for bounty hunters like me. <laughs> but Rex, there's no need for bounty hunters like you. People wouldn't get to meet you. See how awesome you are. Is this the last keeper? No. There's more. Where are we at? Scan the keepers. 19. We are dock. What's this dock for? I don't know. A lot of codex entries. Weren't they meant for this to be part of the game? Like, this is where you would dock to Normandy or something? Because they had the elevator and everything. I don't know. But they had a lot more planned. Just never got done. There's this one mission where if you go to a Propheum Beacon, um, like out there in the in the galaxy, it gives you like a whole bunch of dialogue. That's kind of cool. I'll hopefully find that and be able to show you guys. Okay. Um. Let's go back to the lower wards. Because we need to talk to Corbin in the lower markets. We need to make a pickup in the lower wards market. And then I need to talk to Sultan. Then we need to scan the keepers, go back to the Sari and the fan. of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more Profiles in Courage or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, courage. Courage. That's what it takes. We're going to stop the Reapers. The true threat. Bum, bum, bum. Conrad, no more grenades, right? That's cute. Excuse me, just gonna walk right in between you. Expat. Where's the last keeper, now that I'm thinking about it? Uh. 
Huh. I'm missing a keeper. For some reason, I'm not sure where it is. Jax? Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Yeah. Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Let's do it. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. There we go. Corbin? Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? I want the truth. You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after him. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Not yet. No, but you're gonna tell me <clears throat> everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. How so? Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? Not sure I follow. What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Angelie? Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? All right. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. Sure. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. <sighs> okay. So I talked to everyone. Now I need to go back, talk to Jaleed, and now I need to go talk to Chalik. You didn't want me to kill the guy, even though I really wanted to. You just wanted me to give him the money and back off. Got the information we needed. Back to CSEC. Let's go. Again, silly boy. What time is it? Yeah, it's getting pretty late. I might have to stop here soon, guys. I was trying to make the Citadel all like one big so episode. So how about but... it, Garrus? Is this better than CSEC? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. Best 
Centurion in the whole entire galaxy is right here, Rex. Garrus. Vulcarian. Vulcanian? Vulcarian? Okay. Oh, wait. There's a keeper up at the shipyards. That's right. I remember. Jaleed! Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Yes, I did. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Relax. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Okay. And then... Chalik? Commander, I hear you have something for me. Keeping tabs on me already, huh? Here's your shipment, Chalik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. You're welcome. It's what I do. Okay. Now let's go over here and have the cool scene which I was talking about before. I always, for some reason, get turned around in this CSEC area. I always think that's the way to the record session office. What's down here? Oh, there's a keeper right here. But there's also one up top. That's right, they made it so you only had to scan 20 keepers instead of 21 in Legendary Edition. Because people could always never find the last one. Boom! Did it, boys. Huge game. Sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Sure is. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Need supplies. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. No problem. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Oh, man, I always thought that was so cool, where he's like, oh, shit. We're talking about Spectres here. Um... Yep, I'll buy this. Uh, grenade upgrade? Yeah, sure. Light armor. Assault rifles. But these are the guns that you really want. These are the uh, Spectre guns. Only available for Spectres. Accuracy and damage are unmatched. These are the guns you want, boys. HMW. HMW. Pistol, assault rifle, shotgun, sniper rifle. Okay, team. Fall back. We need to go back up to the Presidium.
Must be hard for you, Garrus. Knowing that the person behind all this death and destruction is a Turian specter. Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Glad to hear it. I was losing sleep over the prospect of people not loving the Turians. <laughs> oh, Rex. Dude, I just love the banter. Okay, um... Oh, we're right here. Gotcha. I forgot about this elevator. So, first I want to cross over here and see where Lena Blake is, and then I need to go back to the wards. That little wards connection down there to get the signal. Should be like right around here. Yeah, ever since Fist took over, I don't go anywhere. Mm. Seems like all the best vouchers are being replaced Let's by places like Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Perfect. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the consort? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling, although you are the first of your kind to respond to it. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you were just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. Oh. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Pleasure to see you too. Or control. Okay, I'll talk to Septimus. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Of course. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Very astute. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my okay. words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. I shall be a leader, and others will follow. My strength will give them courage, the people. Okay. Got it. Bum, bum, bum. But Helena Blake, I think, it, oh, is that her? No, I think she's around here somewhere. Ah, there she is. Got a moment, Spectre? Yes, I do. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. Oh, uh how -oh. you know me? How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. 
You could do the galaxy a favor. Oh? Defenses? What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. This is an obvious setup. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. Mm -hmm. You are the first sure. human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. Okay. And what crimes, what have crimes done? did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. I'll do it. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. It's been a pleasure to meet you too, Alina. If you try to backstab me. Let's just say you won't have much of a future. Okay, let's keep pushing on through, guys. They're almost done with the Citadel. The main parts of the Citadel, at least. Need to talk to Sultan. Initial readings. Strange transmission. Missing Marines. Privateers. Hostage. Okay. Okay, um, pretty sure the strain signal is right through here. We're gonna go right down the cellar and right back up. I'm sorry, guys. I jumped in. News. Francis Lake has pretty. announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. Oh. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. <laughs> oh man, I would love to see that. Straight signal should be around here somewhere. Ah. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Okay. It's going to be up here, I think. Financial district. Yep. It's going to be right Celebrations here. are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Oh. Well, surprising. But all Krogans are going to be bittersweet about it. They saved the galaxy, and then they bring them to the close of um, extinction, bring him to the brink of extinction. Feel for you, buddy. And don't you worry. I'll find a way to help you guys out. I don't want to spoil too much. 
just in case for people who haven't seen, like I said, the or played the games. Boop. Please do not disturb the keepers. So I'm just going to try to keep things kind of vague until we learn more. What's up, Rex? I was never a fan of this statue. The Krogan monument just seems more impressive to me. Yeah. The keepers never paid much attention to that relay monument. I always found that a little strange. Hmm. That's a little strange. Something up with that relay? How far can we shoot? Wondering. I was just seeing how, if there was like an invisible barrier, if I could shoot all the water down there. It's kind of hard for me to tell. Um, let's see. Is this a signal source? Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the pursuit. Garrus, what were you doing to those doors? Oh my gosh, Garrus, you're just ridiculous. Okay, let me make a quick save here. Signal source? This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Whoa! Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Uh, this isn't what I expected. Crap. I thought we were tracing credits, not hunting an AI. You could simply walk away. However, given organic prejudice against AIs, I would be naive to trust you to leave peacefully. Hence my alignment of core systems to enable a self-destruct sequence. You'll be showing yourself if you though. attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Hey. Hey. Who is your creator? Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him follow money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. Creator's location. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Okay. Why, why self-destruct? What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. What's the reason? If you're sentient, this? why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Listen, we don't want to fight. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Commander, AIs are universally illegal. They must be destroyed upon contact without exception. <clears throat> I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy sure, or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. You're bluffing. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. Okay, enough talk. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. 
you may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Okay. Funny you ask that, Rex. That comes up later on in the games. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidia. Mostly for show, not much crime up here. Squad. Door discount. Um. I want stasis. Singularity. I'm not a big fan of warp. Do you want pistols? I should probably start leveling up my adept skills too. I want marksmen, and then I might get. Advanced shielding and just start leveling up. Lift. Yeah. Lift and throw are really good. I might max out my throw, actually. So. Boop, 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 boop. Got it. Oh, need to level up the rest of my crew. Gareth. Most, most important thing is that we get you to master, be able to do hard electronics and hard decryption. Rex. I'll let you do whatever the heck you want, buddy. You're cool. Okay, I think that might honestly almost be it. I think we go talk to the commander or captain. What do you guys say about this? It never gets dark here. They keep the artificial sunlight on at all times. Oh. Oh. Tranquil, calm, relaxing. Wake me when this is over. <laughs> I don't know how about that. I know about that. Always having bright sunlight. I guess it makes sense because people would be on different sleep schedules, especially from different races and species and different planets and stuff. That would be makes sense that they'd always keep it daylight but man trying to find some sleep here that'd be tricky I don't know could be worse look at that it just goes Phew. that's so cool okay anything new is there something else I can help you with commander nope. I should be going now have a pleasant day I thought you might say something now that I'm a specter, but I guess not. Captain Anderson. Oh, wait, hold on. Still got one more mission. Selton's complaint. Uh oh, there. 
Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I can help you. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here. There should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. You'll be okay. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Oh, dude, did you just hear that? Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Ah, come on, Dan. Do not listen to my Volus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. True. Regardless if I did it for self-proper or not, I still did do a good thing. But did you hear the bumping as he was walking away? Oh man, you know he's a powerhouse. Captain Anderson? Oh, I thought he would be here. He must be up at the docks. That's everything, guys. Say little portion's over. Let's see, we're three hours and 43 minutes in. Okay. Um, we'll go here. Why don't you take me to I guess C sec. That's the best best way for me to get up to the the docks. Is that no no no, it's this one. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Aha, uh -huh. see there's the last keeper right there. I wonder if I can scan them. Hold on, I'll be with you guys in a second. Like anything for scanning you? Nope. Not to go through. Huh? Udina? I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I will. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. Why are you doing this? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come on. There's more than this than that, Anderson. Come clean with me, Captain. 
You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Sure told me. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Kill me. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Oh. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. What about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Count on me. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. I'll probably start with Pharos. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess, and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll be careful. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Okay, boys. Yes, Commander? You okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. You and Saren have a past? Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Okay. Why, I, what happened? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I think this is all in like a book. The books of the Mass Effect. Anderson's story, which is kind of cool. So I think he's just giving us a quick summary of what happened. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. A little extreme. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. What the Saren heck? didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. 
That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Why would you get blamed, though? If they ruled it an accident? Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. It's not your fault. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. It's not fair. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Let's keep moving forward. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. You work for I want to know the truth about ah. you and Saren. I want to know about the We had intel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was simple. Sneaky. The only thing I care You're about right, is Commander. stopping. It's no good living in the Okay, Pharos. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. Okay. Artemis Tau? What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Okay. Novaria? What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Thank you, Captain. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, guys. I think that's where we're going to end it. We got through the Citadel. Now. Uh, the Normandy. The Normandy is ours. We'll continue our adventure. Maybe tomorrow. If not tomorrow, probably next week. And yeah, I'm excited. Hope you guys all had a great time. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.